Let's take a quick look at Texture Guide. It's a UV tool that is really handy, uh, but it's all, all, almost always overlooked. So we'll create a quick object. Under Primitives, we'll choose Platonic Solid Tool, in for Numeric, and for Shape, let's uh, pick an eight-sided object here. Okay, And let's plan to just UV map this polygon, because it should demonstrate uh, the, the Texture Guide in action. I'm going to go ahead and give this a name and we'll give it a color. Okay, just so we know that this is the polygon we want to work with. If we were to do a planar UV map down the Z, we can see that there's our shape, but this is the shape it would give us. If we were to do it in the Y, well, here's our shape, but this is the shape it would give us. So we really need to map it in um, this axis, which uh, isn't one of our options um, using the standard T for texture, new. We've got planar, cylindrical, spherical, and we have atlas, um, and we can pick the XYZ uh, axis here. But let's go ahead and take a look at texture guide. So I'm going to move over to map for texture. Let's choose texture guide, in for numeric, and let's make a new UV map. We'll call this triangle and let's switch over to UV texture okay so we can already see that it's mapping it based off of if I didn't have make UVs uh, active it wouldn't automatically do it but I have it active here and we can see that it's mapping it let's size it up okay so I'm changing my scale here just by clicking and dragging kind of like working with uh, the box tool before we commit Okay, and we can see, well, there's our shape. We can see the axis that it's on, and it's not working out all that well for us. Uh, y, same thing, and I could, I could size this out as well. That's not really working out all that well for us. And, of course, X wouldn't uh, as well. It gives us the same shape, but not the shape that we want. It's not the shape of our polygon. Okay, and we could go in here and manually edit this, or we could... Um, come over to, let's do Z, and then here's our guide. Let's choose Rotate, and let's rotate it in the heading, and let's try negative 45, and that gets us a pretty good angle there, but we also need to, to move it in the pitch. So let's try um, 30. And that's close. Let's use the mini slider and we'll rotate it like this. So roughly, tweak it a little bit more, but roughly we've got um, the same shape and we're doing a planar map, but with the rotation that comes in handy. And we could leave it at that, uh, but I'd like to show you um, just a, a few more things. We've got the same thing going on. Let me zero this out for the rotation. If we were to use a cylindrical map, which is the wrong type of map to use for this, but I just want to point out, if we put it in the Y, that's where our seam is going to take place on a cylindrical map. I can always rotate that 90 degrees, and now our seam on our cylindrical map is going to take place there. And I can visually see the, uh, the guide here, which is kind of nice. Being able to see that guide um, uh, can be handy when you're first getting started with UVs and you're not quite sure what axis to, to map with or what type of mapping. You got um, spherical, cubic, which is a, a handy option. Uh, but then the last one is something that you don't have in uh, in the standard UV editing tools that uh, has, has been a lifesaver for me at times uh, under mapping to choose camera. Okay, And let's just zero this out. So by default, we get a, a guide here that's our camera guide and I'm just gonna grab the camera and move it okay and I can do this in the perspective window try and line it up there okay and maybe move it up a little bit just kinda putting the camera where I think it needs to be and then I can always move the camera in that's sizing it up in the UV grid and move it out okay so I can position my camera and I actually change the, 
the scale a little bit whenever I click. So I'm just going to click and open it up a little bit more. When I clicked in the perspective window, I sized it down a little bit. But so just by moving this around, you can see, look over at the UV texture, uh, in the viewport, you can see I'm seeing it in real time, which is really handy. And sometimes if you're trying to get a specific angle, the camera view can be the just the tool to get you there. So that's just a quick look at the texture guide uh, for creating uh, UV maps.